Hello there, this is Elaine. Today's story is to help you feel good about yourself and also to help you sleep. So, make sure you're really comfortable. Pull the covers up if you have them. Maybe move your toes backwards and forwards, side to side. How about lifting your legs up just a little and then dropping them back down on the bed or the couch or wherever you are. Hands in the air now, lifting your arms up, moving your fingers and then bringing them back down again. Are you starting to feel a little bit more comfortable now? Now, if you fall asleep before the end of the story, that's fine, because you can always listen to it another time. Now, as you're lying there, I want you just to listen to your breathing. Can you hear it? Notice the sound when you breathe in. And then how that sound changes when you breathe out. So have a go now. Breathing in. And breathing out. Do that a few more times now, listening to those sounds and noticing how your body feels when you blow out. I wonder you're starting to feel a little more relaxed now. Maybe a little calmer. So are you ready for the story? Now this is a story about Lily, Jones, Paddington, MacDonald. Now, Lily Jones Paddington MacDonald is a teddy bear. But not just any teddy bear. She is just one of a kind. You see, there was only ever one teddy bear made exactly like Lily. She has the fluffiest, sort of a beigey brown fur, beautiful kind face. And she always wears this tartan bow. She is a very, very special bear. Very valuable bear. And people who collect teddies or dolls or things that are very valuable would love to have Lily Jones Paddington MacDonald as part of their collection. But Lily Jones Paddington MacDonald. She didn't know any of this. She spent a lot of her time just lying on the floor next to the toy box. Now 
this is the house, the place where she lived with the family. Now the family, her honours, did not treat her as if she was special. Therefore, she didn't think she was special. She thought she was just plain, ordinary Lily the Teddy. Then one day, Lily the Teddy found herself at an auction. Now, you might not know what an auction is, so I will explain it to you. So it's where people go to bid on something they want. So in this case, people would offer money for Lily. And the person who offers the most money wins the bid and gets to take Lily the Teddy home. Now, Lily the Teddy doesn't know why she even is at this auction place. And she's feeling a little bit anxious, a little bit worried. And she thought that maybe she's there because she has done something wrong. As she's looking around, she notices that on one side of the room, there's a man who started bidding for her. She thought he looked quite nice. He seemed to have a kind face. And she thought, he must quite like me if he's bidding for me. She wondered, why he wanted her so much and imagine what it would be like living with him in his house. What it looked like if there were kids there. What would life be like living with this man? Then she looked at the other side and there was a woman bidding. She also looked nice and she had a kind face as well and she looked like she really wanted Lily. Lily started to think about what life would be like living with this woman. What would her house look like? Would this woman really love Lily? Would she be cared for? Would she be protected? Would she feel safe? Lily felt quite confused at this point. She really didn't know what to think. It was actually all a little bit too much and she felt quite sad inside. She felt caught in the middle and she didn't like this feeling. She didn't know which home to live in and didn't like the fact that she had no choice in this matter. So she just sat there watching the bidding, feeling sad, feeling worried and feeling scared. She found herself thinking about what if she could go and live with the man for a week and then the woman for another week. And then she thought I could maybe then live with both of them. 
and then she noticed the man's voice was getting louder. And the woman had a worried look on her face. And Lily thought, maybe it would be better if I was ripped or dirty or broken and then neither of them would want me. But then Lily thought, if that happened, then no one would be happy. And she certainly would not be happy. She then started to think about why was the man getting so loud and why was the woman looking so desperate? And she wondered, was it that they loved and wanted her so much that they thought they could only be happy if they had her? Now that thought made Lily feel better. Did they really love her that much? And did they really think that she was so special? So then she thought, well, does it matter who wins the bid? Because no matter who wins and who she goes to live with, there was something she knew now that she didn't know before. There were two people bidding in this auction because they wanted Lily so much, because she was special, so special. She knew there and then that she was loved. She was adored, and just feeling this meant that she would be okay, whatever happened. From this day forward, Lily knew that she was, always had been, and always would be special. There might be some days where She forgets this and then she realizes that it's okay if the people around her do not always agree on things. But to remember that she is loved. She is valued. She is special. Lily felt so much pride in her chest as she breathed in, knowing that she was Lily Jones Paddington MacDonald. And also felt really comfortable that she was also Lily the Teddy. But the most important thing is that she realized that it felt so good to just be herself. Now, if you've gotten to the end of the story, you might just like to let yourself drift into an easy and relaxing sleep. And as you do, I wonder if you can feel that pride in your chest pride that Lily the Teddy feels right now. And you go take a deep breath in now and really feel it and say in your mind after me, I am loved, I am special, sleep now.